Thank you. All right. Anyone see me on the uh, David Letterman show? Yeah. No? <laughs> I know, man. Like, four million people watch that show, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> but, but I believe it's a good introduction for a comedian. You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I believe more people have seen me at the store. <laughs> and that, that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. And people would say, hell yes, I have. <laughs> this shirt is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> all right. Dry clean only, all right. All right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let me get a sandwich. <laughs> I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. <laughs> it's, it's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, impale it, and then rotate it. <laughs> and I'll be damned if I'm not hungry because spinning chicken carcasses make my mouth water. I like dizzy chicken with a side of potatoes of some sort. One time I opened up a yogurt and underneath the lid it said, please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of but I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. <laughs> or maybe your play was trying to inspire me. <laughs> Come on, Mitch, don't give up. <laughs> Please try again. A message of inspiration from your friends at your play. <laughs> Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait till this set is over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. <laughs> I, I look at the floor too much. Everyone's up there. All right. I get up in the morning, I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal and then I don't do anything for an hour which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. I got, I got my backstage pass ready to go here. So when I leave the stage, they don't give me any problems. <laughs> Go back to your seat. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready, cause I, all right. I work, I work at Zany's Comedy Club in Nashville and uh, I, don't get, I wasn't getting a lot of laughs there. People weren't laughing, so after one show, the club owner said, Mitch, you're not getting any laughs. You're gonna have to vacuum the club. <laughs> he made me vacuum. So I told the next crowd, hey, y'all gotta start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop. Were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. <laughs> Some comic clubs, they pass out comment cards, and I think that's rude, you know? Like, I'll just pretend this list of my jokes for tonight is a comment card. They, you fill it out with your name and address, and then there's a line that says comments, and people write down what they thought of the show, and sometimes people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> Uh, being a comedian is a very noble occupation, you know? We stand in front of strangers and try to make them laugh, you know? If, if you don't think it's funny, go home and try again next week. <laughs> don't complain, because then I can't go back there. Like, I've read something that say, Mitch sucks. Then you look up above, it has their name and address. 
That's right, I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.